Okay, so I wanted to demonstrate how my new black chemise gown works. I've started to get dressed. I am wearing shoes, stockings, garters, shift, and my new stays. So just a look at that. Look at that. I'm going to put my bum roll. Just ties in front. If I were wearing a dress with a point, I could put it under the point of my stays. Over that, I'm putting a linen petticoat. Make sure it goes over the bum roll. Ties in front. Then the top comes up. And I like to tie that in front as well. Up the side to stagger the bows a little bit. Okay, there's that. See? Over that, I have my pockets. And you'll reach these through pocket slips, slits in the dress. Over that, the dress. Here is the dress. You can see that it's open in front, just a few inches below the waist. Better being tucked in properly. Then pull it up. There we go. It has a linen lining, which pins shut. My little pin cushion here. I can feel those to make it easier. So it just pins shut. Pins were very common in the 18th century, obviously, and it would do a smoother job if my dress didn't have this overlay. So I have three drawstring channels, the neck, the waist, and in between, which kind of, that in between will kind of be a little smoother. Now this dress is silk taffeta, and it's less stiff than silk taffeta usually is because I completely wet it and let it dry over the ironing board which helped to keep it smooth because silk taffeta can get crinkles in it when you wash it. But doing it that way helped to keep it smooth. And just tie these in bows. And you can tuck them in so they don't show. And the top one. Okay. I'll tie that a little tighter, but that's okay for now. I have a belt that goes over that. The belt has no closures. I pin that shut as well. That makes it a little adjustable, which is nice, especially since this is an adjustable dress. I'll just take that.